Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Yanni Gomez once again. And in this video, I will be sharing with you how did I apply for my Permeso di Sojourno or Carta di Sojourno or commonly known as Residence Permit here in Italy. So, if you are interested to know, please keep on watching. Take my hand and hold it tight Look at the paintings out be your guide. So before I begin with, I would like to highlight that all the information that I will be sharing with you is based on my personal experience. There are different kinds of permeso de sojourno. Um, a permeso de sojourno may be uh, for the purpose of training and study, training internship, or residence, uh, residence permit for lavoro, or residence permit as a member of an EU citizen. So, in my case, I am applying for a residence permit as a member of an EU residence. EU residence as a family member because I am married to an Italian. So, my husband is an Italian. So, this is where I fall in this bracket or in this um, type of residence. The office where we can apply for Permeso di Sojourno is we call it the Questura. So here in our area, um, I can apply my Permeso di Sojourno in Questura di Treviso. But you cannot go directly in Questura di Treviso without any appointment. Please take note of that. So, um, or even just to inquire for uh, requirements, maybe without an appointment, I think they will not. What you have to do is, step one is go to the nearest Inca office or Inca also known as Nacionale Confederale di Assista, Assistenza or also known as Patronato or CGIL here it is provides assistance to the public like migration, um, residence, support, health, health and well-being. So as much as as far as I know, uh, I didn't pay anything when I went there to inquire and help me get an appointment for um, for the permit. They will help you to create a username in the Questura. Uh, website specifically in Treviso and appointment letter so when I went there last December 12 2019 bringing some of the requirements or that are I think that are essential such as my passport my visa and my marriage certificate so they were able to assist me and create the username yes, and appointment. appointment date that we got online that is available is on February 10 2020 so that's where the appointment letter indicated uh, the appointment date, the time, and the list of specific requirements. So, from the CGIL or Patronato, I was able to get um, the specific requirements that I need to prepare, pe prepare before going to Questura. So, so, come February 10, 2010, 2020, I went to the Questura de Treviso and presenting at the entrance my appointment date to get the queue number because they will not allow you to enter the office of Questura without any appointment date. Um, I saw another <laughs> another people trying to to enter the Questura but they were not allowed by the policemen because there are lots of police in the area so better get an appointment before going to the Questura to prevent this. So I went there, I asked for the I presented my appointment de date eh, appointment letter and they gave me the queue number so you will have to wait for your queue number so once you have the queue number you can go inside the office uh, there's a waiting area and then there's um there's a screen where where you can monitor if your if your number is being called already so once uh, my number was called. I went to the window number where I was assigned and presented my requirements. Once completed, uh, they will provide you the website and code that you will use when sh when checking the application online. So you don't have to call or return to follow up for your permeso di sojourno. Step 3. On the last window or on the last room, they will get your fingerprint. So your uh, fingerprint... <laughs> So your fingerprints will be included in the permeso de sojourno once all the requirements are completed. So 
basically, this is one of the basic naman when we're applying for passport or uh, residence permit is to get your uh, so step fingerprint. four all done and the waiting game begins. I applied my permeso de sojourno last uh, February 10 and I was able to uh, to check online that the permeso de sojourno is ready already last March 7. So it took around almost one month of processing. I was able to pick up or get it last uh, first week of June because of something <laughs> happened here in Italy. So, so we will if you if you check online that your permesso de sojourno is already available, you have to set an appointment again to where uh, as to where you're going to get or claim your permesso de sojourno. Again, you cannot go directly to Questura without any appointment. So once your permesso once they said that your permesso uh, de sojourno is ready and ready to claim you have to set an appointment again online using the username and password uh, using the username and password given by the patronato so remember i mentioned that they created a username with the website of questura so keep it because that's the that's the uh, one the same username that you are going to use when you are going to set an appointment to pick up your sometimes they send an email email in this account uh, if it is if there's something happen or if sometimes your permit so the sojourner needs to extend processing so you have to keep that username and account um, account created by the I would like to show you what the uh, the permesso de sojourno looks like so here the first page it says um ministero del interno departamento <laughs> departamento de la publica sicureza so and it says here at the at the below the carta de sojourno de familiare here carta de sojourno de familiare because i am a member of an eu citizen so inside maybe i i have to keep some information so they will, it's just a picture and a picture of you pero wala nga dito yung ano no yung fingerprints but they got my fingerprints so Questura di Treviso. So, this is where um, the place of Questura in Treviso. And then it just indicated your name, your date of birth, your nationality. So, I'm still a Filipino citizen. <laughs> um, place and date of issue, date of exper expiration. So, there's a date of expiration. So, I applied this. Um, my expiration will be on February 9, 2025. So, five years. Um, my permit of the sojourner is valid for five years. And then, type of permit, motivi familiare, so family member. And then, um, entry date in Italy. So, this is um, the first day that I, uh, I, I arrive here in Italy. So, usually, they will be basing here in your uh, passport, yung sa immigration. So, that's November 15, 2019. And then your codice fiscale also. That's private na. I will not give you my codice fiscale. So, and then your signed. So, this is your residence permit for five years. So, I have to renew after five years. What will happen if my visa, tourist visa, will expire prior my appointment date of permesso de sojourno? So, remember, my tourist visa will expire on January 29, but my appointment with the Questura to have the permesso de sojourno is on February 10. So, between January 9 and February 10, I have an expired visa. Meaning to say, parang illegal ka. <laughs> Meron kang illegal staying here in Italy. So, my answer is don't worry. As long as you have the appointment letter with the Questura, that's okay. There's no problem. And in any case, if there's a police, there's a, there's a, you're outside of your home, and there's a police wanted to check your papers, you just have to present your visa, your passport, and the appointment letter. You don't have nothing to worry. Also, as long as you're inside Italy. Don't, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell 
icon so you will be notified in my next video. And comment na rin po kayo if meron kayong gustong malaman pang mga process here in Italy. For example, visas, uh, residence permit, or anong klaseng permit na na-experience ko na that I can share. So please feel free to ask in the comment sections and I will be gladly to answer you. So have a good day, have a good life, and God bless everyone. Ciao!